Well, here we are again, Kids West and the Blacktown City Lions Club. And today we're, we're talking about raising some uh, much needed funds for a piece of equipment for Mount Brook Hospital. Uh, Blacktown City Lions and Kids West uh, have been doing this uh, a number of years now, working closely together and I'm thrilled to be part of the process. And we're lucky today we have with us Edna Natala, who's the uh, uh, local member for Mount Druid. And Edna's a great supporter of local charities, and uh, particularly of, um, of the Blacktown City Lions, who uh, he's always had a close association with. Uh, very pleased to have you here today, Edna. And, and just could I ask you um, your thoughts on, firstly, a little unusual to have a consistent uh, two charities working together uh, to raise money for our local hospital, both Blacktown and Mount Druid. Yeah, well, thanks very much, Trevor, and I want to thank Rev uh, and uh, Danny uh, from the uh, nurses, uh, the director of nurses and midwives here at, uh, at Mount Druid. Um, I want to thank you for uh, all the work that you two organisations do to the community. Um, without uh, your work, there'll be a vital gap missing in terms of delivering uh, the service. Um, you know, governments uh, can't always fund everything that are needed in hospitals, and organisations like yours that come in, step in, step up, and provide that missing uh, gap is, uh, means a great deal uh, to the uh, community. And I'm very grateful that you've identified Mount Druid Hospital here as uh, one of the target hospitals to be assisted. And uh, we want to thank you so much on behalf of the Mount Druid community. Um, it's, it's very important to have um, the community and organisations such as yours come together to support uh, our health services in the local area. Thanks very much. And uh, we've got our own local Blacktown Lion King, uh, Rebel Hanlon. Uh, Rebel, tell us what this uh, raffle is all about and what some of the prizes are and um, and how you've been putting this together. Well, I'd like to thank first of all Kids West. Kids West is a great charity and Kids West has been working with us for at least the last five years and raising money on numerous hospital projects. But most importantly I'd like to thank Danny and our state member Edmund Atala for coming up here today. Because today I'm proud to announce that we're going to be doing our raffle. It's an online raffle. It's a raffle that's going to be, if you want a ticket, and I've got plenty of tickets guys, so I'm going to ask you to put the challenge out to you. If you want to help Mount Druid Hospital and the kids unit at Mount Druid Hospital, we've got the online raffle, we've got our microwaves, we've got crystals, we've got crystal, we've got crystal plates, we've got a whole heap of prizes. There's over 20 prizes there to be won. You can find all this online on the Blacktown City um, Lions Facebook site. Contact us, leave a message for our secretary and we'll get the tickets out to you. Three for five dollars, twenty dollars a book. All the proceeds are going to Mount Druid Hospital. But can I just say, without the support of our state member Edmund Atala here and the support of Kids West, we in Blacktown Lines wouldn't be able to help to donate this. We've also got great support and great backup from people like Danny from Black from Mount Druid Blacktown Hospital. If the if the good folk in the hospital aren't supporting us, we can't deliver the product. So I'd like to thank all those people for, for supporting us. I'd like to thank the community, and it is our pleasure as Blacktown community to support our local community. When we raise local, we give local. So the challenge is out to all our friends on Facebook. I'm asking you, what are you prepared to do for your local community? Are you prepared to buy a couple of tickets to help support the kids unit here at Mount Jordan Hospital? Are you prepared to help Kids West? We're only asking for a couple of dollars. And all this money's going to these good folk and going to the most vulnerable people in society. And that's our children that are in hospital. So Trevor, that's why I think it's passionate to help out our community. And with our support of our good state member, our support of the hurt nurses and midwives, and supporting these people is why we, where there's a need, there's a line. Yeah, thanks very much, Rebel. Uh, and, and true words haven't been spoken. Just on the raffle, um, it may seem to some a little bit cumbersome to uh, to go in and organise your raffle tickets and make payment. Um, you're not making payment online. Um, you can make payment direct to the Lions Club uh, or to Kids West. But I think the key is that if you put in that effort, that effort's going to be rewarded. 
you know, we've got, we've got beautiful kids walk down here and they need our help. Uh, state government does the bricks and mortar and they do it really, really well. Um, there's gaps everywhere and uh, we, we want to fill those gaps. Denny, can I just uh, get a few words from you in terms of, you know, we've been working together now for some time and, um, you know, what that means to this hospital uh, to have the community support, not only just that piece of equipment, which is really vital, but actually knowing that the community care and, and they're coming together and they're, they're highlighting some needs and, um, and, and everyone's got some ownership. So, well, I first want to say thank you to the Black Country Lines and to Kids West because we've built a great relationship over the years and probably more recently I've got to work closely with the both of you and really appreciate what you do for the hospitals and for our community. You've donated many things over the years to both Blacktown and to Mount Druitt Hospital, but particularly we'll talk about the kids ward because it's such a beautiful ward here and it's such a busy place looking after the children around in our in our area. And at the moment right now it's really busy in there. There's a lot of sick kids, it's winter now and uh, it's a really great time. At any time's a great time to receive a donation. But um, when it's busy and with the nursing and medical staff are working so hard, we really appreciate what you guys do for us and the things that you donate for us. And that's ranged from all sorts of things over the years, but it's greatly appreciated and it's a great partnership that we've been able to grow over the years. That's fantastic. And uh, just before we finish off, Edmund, Mount Druitt and surrounding areas is absolutely booming. What are we going to do with all these people? How are we going to manage that? Uh, and, and that's why um, I've always been a strong advocate for Mount Druitt Hospital because the future and the growth in, in this area, um, if that comes to fruition, um, this hospital is going to become very vital in delivering the services to service all of these uh, new growth areas. Just recently, Mount Druitt CBD has been announced with the rezoning and 30,000 additional people are just coming into the CBD alone, mm -hmm. let alone all of the growth areas around. So any myth about Mount Druitt Hospital is only a small village hospital, oh, that the Blackdown, Blackdown Hospital can cater for everyone, it ain't gonna happen. And, and I think the government's waking up to that reality and uh, all we keep advocating for more services to be provided here at Mount Druitt Hospital because we know when the crux time comes and the people start coming in, if we don't have a hospital such as Mount Druitt Hospital, we're going to be in real trouble. And uh, behind me, the children's ward. This children's ward is one of the best children's ward in Australia, not just in Mount Druitt. And it's, it's the best because of the staff um, that work in this hospital, care for, in, for this hospital. You know, we've got quality people um, operating Mount Druitt Hospital, and we just need to stand with them, stand beside them, and support them in all of all that they do. We all want our local members to be talking about just those things, on the ground stuff, the stuff that means something to our everyday lives. Um, and, you know, something as simple as a hospital for many people um, can be the heart of the community. And um, I suppose to finish off, thanks guys. Uh, it's wonderful um, that we've brought this together. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more fundraising as we move through the year um, and move into better times, uh, which I'm, I'm very confident that we'll do. So thank you very much.